No intro. I'm just going to get strictly to the point. I'm not the biggest NBA fan, or have I claimed to watch the NBA on a consistent basis. But my God, the Chicago Bulls have been a complete joke lately. All right, they're 10th in the East, and when you have three all-stars, Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, and Vucevic, and you can't even sniff you can't even sniff the uh, the top five C teams. That tells me they have been a complete joke. And there is a lot of blame, a lot of blame to go around on the Chicago Bulls team. And that starts with first and foremost, Billy Donovan, because Billy Donovan, I said this before, I wasn't a huge fan in the, of the fire, on the hire. I, mean, I wasn't a huge fan of the hire because at this point, Billy Donovan has always been what I say he is. He's a guy that relies too much on talent, but when he's in these big moments, he can't coach. That's why the Thunder fired him. And I don't, I don't even care about, oh, we, the Bulls were a solid team when Lonzo was there. That's, that's old news to me. We all know Lonzo Ball is not a game changer. If you think he is, then you need to reevaluate yourself. Lonzo Ball is not a all-star. He's a potential solid player. Honestly, what do I think the Bulls need to do? They need to blow it up. All right. I'm sorry. They have to they have to blow it up because they're not winning a championship with this current roster. All right. Zach Levine is already proven that he's not worth the contract. He's not a good leader. It's already shown that tier teammates don't even like cursed him out before. And DeMar DeRozan, he's the only good player, but he's at he's at best a number two all-star and Vucevic. I don't know what happened to him. It's kind of looking like w- that move when we traded Wendell Carter Jr. And, and uh Lauer, uh, I think it was, yeah. Wendell Carter Jr. Um, and a cup and our first round pick to get Vucevic. Honestly, it's starting to look very bad. And the Orlando magic, you're starting to make the Orlando magic look like they made the right decision for trading Vucevic. Because he's playing dumbass. He's playing retarded right now. Honestly, this Bulls team, I see them. They always they, they blew a 21-point lead to the Indianapolis um, Pacers. And they lost to the Char- Charlotte Hornets. If you make Mason Plumlee look good, that should tell you the era of this Bulls team. Like, I'm sorry, the Bulls need to honestly consider rebuilding and starting to possibly fire Billy Donovan and trade uh, Zach Levine, DeMar possibly, and Vucha. Keep the young guys that, that you drafted and start to rebuild. Because honestly, if the Chicago Bull team, like this Chicago Bulls team is looking like they're pro- possibly – at best, they could be in the play playing tournament. And you want to know what the worst part about the Bulls tanking is? They don't have a first round pick. They have to be incredibly trash. They have to be pure garbage in order for to get a first round pick because we traded our first round pick to get Vucevic, and they're making the Orlando Magic look like they made the right decision for move, moving on from Vucevic because honestly. Why is Lowry Markadage and Wendell Carter Jr. looking like complete different players when they left the Bulls? And Vucevic and Vucevic, who we got, is looking like a pure bum. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put all the blame on the players because at the end of the day, it's Billy Donovan's fault. I'm sorry, Billy Donovan is not a leader. He needs to get in these players' heads. Say you're not doing the, you're not doing this right. You need to be a team leader, and I- I'm sorry to say this. Um, who was that heck? Oh, Jim Boylan. Yeah, I'm sorry to say this. If we if we were losing, Jim Boylan would not would not be a tolerated. He would have this team getting punished like running laps and shit. Like these Bulls players do not have a good coach to get in their head and say, "You're not doing this right. You need to you need to change this shit up." They need. The talent is there for the Bulls. We do not have a good head coach to get in the heads of these players. And honestly, complete 
uh, complete blowing up is I'm okay with it because I this Bulls team is not winning a championship as they as we thought they would. And honestly, I don't know about the Chicago Bulls this year. They've been a complete joke. One, a couple games, they seem like they've been turning around, and then the next couple games, it, it turns into a complete disaster. So what do I say? Blow it up. Fire Billy Donovan, possibly fire the GM, blow up the roster, start from scratch, see what you can do. But these are the Chicago Bulls. Honestly, they're known for stu- doing stupid shit. We should have had a championship roster when we had MVP Derrick Rose. Could have had Kobe Br- uh, Bryant as well, but Luel Deng literally was the reason like we couldn't trade him. Honestly, let me guy. If you're a Bulls fan, let me know what you think in the comments. Because honestly, I think the Bulls are a complete joke at this point. Just blow it up. Start from scratch. You're not winning a championship with this current team. So just rebuild. And that starts with fire Billy Donovan and training the big three. Lons, uh, not Lonzo. Uh, uh, who, Zach Levine, Fooch, DeMar. That starts with trading those three. Start the rebuild process now. And that's a good thing to start it during the trade deadline. Let me, guys, if you're a Chicago Bulls fan or diehard, just let me know what you think. I'm just – I've been debating about if I want to do this video for a long time. And the season's played out. It's time to complete destroy the Chicago Bulls once again and just hope they can get this rebuild right. But at this point, it doesn't seem like they not because even if they do, they're they're still going to do the same shit, like – and my and honestly, Mike, I'm not. I wasn't around when Michael Jordan was playing, but Michael Jordan, look at this, looking at this current Chicago Bulls team, he'd be like, "Damn, they are really hanging on to when I when I was around." Because honestly, without I'm shout out to RJ, and he's right. Without the without Michael Jordan, who are the Chicago Bulls? Without Michael Jordan, who really are the Chicago Bulls? And he's looking at them right now, be like, damn, damn, this is the, they are destroying Michael Jordan's legacy team right now. Honestly, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Always hit the subscribe button, leave a like, always helps the algorithm, and always thanks for watching. Appreciate it.